Hello dear listeners and viewers, my name is Kevin Ayuko. We are basically going to try and understand the difference between safeguarding and protection. From time to time we hear people talking about child protection, others talking about child safeguarding, and there is a little confusion when it comes to the right definition of child protection and child safeguarding. So today my focus is going to be trying to understand the terminologies of safeguarding and protection. But I must say that these two terms can be used interchangeably and there is a very thin line that differentiates the two. We'll begin by looking at child safeguarding. Now, by definition, child safeguarding basically refers to all actions, measures, practices that are conducted by organizations to try and prevent children and vulnerable adults from harm and abuse. I will say that again. Child safeguarding basically refers to all actions, measures, activities, and so on that are conducted by an organization to try and prevent children and vulnerable adults um, from harm or abuse. Now, if you listen keenly to the definition, you'll realize that there are keywords. One of those keywords in that definition is prevention. We shall come back to the word prevention a little bit later. The other keyword again is organizations. Again, we shall come back to organizations later. Now, if we analyze this definition going by the two keywords, prevention and organization, we'll be able to clearly understand what child safeguarding is all about. So prevention. This means that child safeguarding is more preventative. It's an attempt to try and prevent harm or abuse from happening. So that therefore means that organizations or individuals must put in place all measures, must try to do anything possible to try and avoid harm from taking place. That is what safeguarding tries to do. Then the other key word is organization. So that basically tells us the role of organizations in safeguarding. That means therefore that Safeguarding is a role that is played by organizations to try and prevent harm uh, among their beneficiaries who are most of the time children or vulnerable adults. That basically explains what safeguarding is all about. Then we'll now look at protection. And by definition, we may want to say that protection refers to protecting children from abuse and at the same time responding to abuse of children who are already suffering from abuse or at risk of suffering from abuse. So when you try to compare safeguarding and protection, you'll be able to realize that while talking about safeguarding, we were talking about prevention only. And now while talking about protection, we are talking about prevention but at the same time, we are talking about response. So response here refers to that which will be done in any case an abuse has taken place. Again, it's important to note that while safeguarding is the role of organizations, protection is the role of the government. And therefore the government through its own agencies like the police, the education department, um, the courts, the social services and so on have a key role to play in ensuring that children are protected. And I believe with that brief explanation we can be able to tell the difference between safeguarding and protection.